Welcome to Spectrum of Wisdom, where knowledge meets curiosity. Today, we embark on a journey into the heart of rural India, home to the remarkable Gur cattle. These aren't your ordinary bovines. The Gur breed, with their distinctive hump and long, drooping ears, are a breed apart. Known for their hardiness, high milk production, and adaptability, the Gur have become a symbol of sustainable and organic farming practices. In this video, we will delve deep into the world of the Gur cattle. From their origins in the Gur forests of Gujarat to their spread across the globe, we will explore the history, characteristics, and the cultural significance of this extraordinary breed. So, join us as we uncover the story of the Gur cattle, a tale of resilience, adaptation, and the incredible bond between humans and animals. Stay tuned, and let's explore the spectrum of wisdom together. Originating from the Lushkar forests of Gujarat, India, the Gur cattle breed holds a special place in Indian culture. Their lineage traces back to the era of Lord Krishna, imbuing them with significant cultural value. Over the centuries, selective breeding has enhanced their dairy production and disease resistance. Today, Gur cattle are not just confined to India. They've found homes in the United States, Mexico, Venezuela, and Brazil, contributing to successful breeding programs. In North America, they played a pivotal role in the development of the Brahmin cattle breed. Back in India, they've been instrumental in improving local breeds. Gur cattle, also known as gyre cattle, are easily recognizable thanks to their unique physical characteristics. Their well-developed hump, a distinguishing feature, serves as an energy reserve, helping them withstand harsh conditions. Their coat, typically reddish-brown, can sometimes exhibit a white or spotted pattern, adding to their unique charm. The long, drooping ears of Gur cows not only contribute to their distinctive appearance but also help regulate their body temperature. Their hanging dewlap, a feature not found in any other cattle breed, and their broad, convex forehead that narrows down to a wide muzzle and large nostrils, further set them apart. While these traits make Gur cattle easily identifiable and adaptable to various environments, Individual cattle may show variations based on genetics and environment. Known for their docile and calm temperament, Gur cattle are a farmer's delight. Their friendly nature and love for human attention, especially when petted or brushed on their dewlap, make them an excellent choice for any farming environment. Gur cattle are renowned for their heat tolerance. Their light-colored, short, sleek coat reflects heat, while their loose, supple skin aids in body temperature regulation. Efficient sweating and respiratory heat loss further enable them to thrive in hot climates. Their adaptability extends to cold climates as well, although they do require some care in colder regions. Gur cattle are also highly resistant to solar radiation, thanks to the absence of sclerotic, making them adaptable to regions with intense sunlight. However, like all cattle, they appreciate shade and fresh water, especially in hot and sunny conditions. Gur cattle, also known as gyre cattle, are renowned for their unique physical features. Their long, drooping ears and hanging dewlap, absent in other breeds, not only enhance their distinctive appearance but also aid in body temperature regulation. Cattle generally thrive in a thermoneutral zone, with temperatures averaging between 41 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. However, this range can vary, especially for cattle in cooler northern climates with a heavy winter coat or those in primarily dry conditions. Factors like wind speed and shelter can influence the lower temperature limit. Gur cattle exhibit an average feed conversion ratio of around 12.52, meaning they gain one unit of weight for approximately 12.5 units of feed. This ratio can fluctuate based on the feed quality, the animal's health, and environmental conditions. The gestation period for Gur cattle typically spans 279 to 287 days, averaging at 283 days, or roughly 9 months. The average birth weight of Gur calves is between 20 to 30 kilograms, with male and female calves weighing around 22.0 kilograms and 20.2 kilograms, respectively, at birth. Gur cattle are celebrated for their remarkable milk production, making them one of India's highest milk-yielding indigenous breeds. They can produce around 12 to 20 liters of milk per day during peak lactation, with some well-nourished and well-managed cows even exceeding these figures. The average milk production for a Gur cow is 1,590 kg per lactation, with a record production of 3,182 kg. Some cows have been known to yield over 6,000 liters of milk annually. 
Milk production peaks in the first 70 days after calving and gradually decreases each week. With proper feeding during pregnancy, a Gurk cow can produce around 10 to 15 liters of milk per day after calving. Male Gurk cattle typically weigh between 500 to 550 kilograms and stand 130 to 140 centimeters tall at the withers, while females weigh between 325 to 375 kilograms and stand 115 to 125 centimeters tall. Their beef is moderate in taste and leaner, but more flavorful compared to other breeds like Haryana and Galau. The milk produced by Gurk cows is of high quality, boasting a rich, creamy flavor with a high butterfat content of 4.5%. Gurk cow cows have an average lifespan of 12 to 15 years. Under good management conditions, they can produce 6 to 10 calves in their lifetime, with some cows remaining reproductively active for 15 years and producing over 20 calves. Gurk cattle are known for their ease in calving, generally having smooth and trouble-free birthing processes. This trait reduces the risk of complications during calving and makes them easier to manage for farmers. On average, the goal is for heifers to gain a pound or a pound and a half per day, potentially gaining between 365 to 547.5 pounds in the first year. Gur cattle are known for their robust immune systems, exhibiting good resistance to various diseases and reducing the need for extensive medical interventions. This resilience is highly advantageous for dairy farmers, as it minimizes healthcare costs and ensures a healthier herd. They exhibit high innate resistance to diseases like foot and mouth disease FMD, and have a tolerance for internal parasites, significantly reducing veterinary care costs. Gyre heifers, a variant of Gur cattle, are unique in their growth pattern. They calve only after 30 to 42 months, a stark contrast to the 22 to 24 months typical for European breeds. This slow prepubertal growth rate discourages early conception. For males, the prime mating age is around 24 months. Gur cattle are celebrated for their extraordinary milk production, ranking among the highest milk-yielding indigenous breeds in India and Pakistan. Their beef is also in high demand in markets across Brazil, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and other countries. One of the, the standout qualities of Gur cows is their innate resistance to tropical diseases, a testament to centuries of natural selection and adaptation. This resilience not only minimizes the need for veterinary interventions but also enhances the overall health and longevity of the herd. Gur cattle have been instrumental in improving local breeds and played a significant role in the development of the Brahmin cattle in North America. Known for their hardiness and adaptability, they require less maintenance compared to other breeds like Holstein Frisian and Belgian Blue. This makes them an excellent choice for various farming environments. Gur cattle, often associated with Lord Krishna, hold a significant place in Indian culture and religion. Their presence in various rituals and festivals symbolizes purity and prosperity. Many Hindu temples even maintain Gur cattle herds as sacred animals. Tracing their ancestry back to the time of Lord Krishna, Gur cows are revered as Kaman Henu, the divine wish-fulfilling cow, central to various rituals, festivals, and agricultural practices. In many traditional African cultures, Gur cows symbolize fertility, nourishment, and abundance, believed to possess powerful spiritual energy that brings prosperity and good fortune. As custodians of this invaluable heritage, it is our collective responsibility to cherish, preserve, and propagate the legacy of Gur cows, ensuring their noble lineage continues to inspire future generations. Gur cattle are distinctive in appearance and a heavy breed. Their well-proportioned bodies and well-developed, round udders are notable features. Male Gur cattle, known for their physical strength, are often used in rural areas for draft purposes, such as pulling carts or plowing fields. Originating from the hot and humid climate of Gujarat's Gur forest region, Gur cattle have adapted well to different environments, including the tropical climate of Brazil. They can thrive in hot and humid climates, making them well-suited for the Indian subcontinent. Their resistance to heat and cold weather conditions, along with their ability to graze on a wide range of vegetation, including coarse grasses, makes them hardy and adaptable. One of the standout qualities of Gur cows is their high innate resistance to diseases like foot and mouth disease FMD, and tolerance for internal parasites. This significantly reduces veterinary care costs. Their robust immune systems protect them against prevalent diseases in tropical regions, making the breed a low-cost option for dairy farmers as fewer veterinary treatments are needed to maintain the health of the herd. 
Renowned for their extraordinary dairy output, Gur cattle are recognized as one of India's indigenous breeds with the highest milk production. However, these cattle are not solely dairy producers. They are a dual-purpose breed, contributing significantly to beef production as well. Their well-balanced physique and substantial weight make them an ideal choice for meat production. Their beef are also popular in Pakistan and Bangladesh. Due to their unique look, they have very high demand and eat a lot of market in Pakistan and Bangladesh. They are also exported in Mexico, Venezuela, Brazil, Bangladesh, USA and other countries due to their crossbreed potential. Thus, Gur cattle serve a dual role in providing both milk and meat, making them a valuable addition to any farm. The Gur breed, renowned for its high fertility rate, is a true asset to any farm. On average, a Gur cow can produce up to 10 calves during its lifespan, contributing significantly to the growth and diversity of the herd. But the Gur breed's contributions ex extend beyond its own lineage. It has been instrumental in improving local breeds and played a pivotal role in the development of the Brahmin cattle in North America. This crossbreeding has led to the creation of robust and adaptable new breeds, enhancing the overall quality of cattle farming. What makes the Gur breed even more appealing to farmers is its low maintenance requirements. Farming Gur cows doesn't necessitate a large infrastructure, leading to substantial cost savings. This combination of high fertility, contribution to breed improvement, and low maintenance makes the Gur breed an excellent choice for sustainable and economical farming. While Gur cattle boast numerous advantages, there are also certain considerations that might give farmers pause. Compared to specialized dairy breeds like Holstein Frisians, Gur cows typically produce around 50 to 60 percent less milk in intensive production setups. However, it's important to note that Gur cattle also require substantially less fodder, balancing out this lower yield. Milking Gur cows can present a challenge due to their uneven teats, which may lead to lower efficiency in a commercial dairy setup. This is a factor that could impact the smooth running of operations on a larger scale. Crossbreeding with other cattle breeds poses a threat to the purity of the Gur breed. This could potentially dilute the unique characteristics that make Gur cattle so desirable, impacting their distinctive traits and benefits. The effects of urbanization, deforestation, and industrialization have led to a decline in their natural habitat. This could influence the availability and cost of acquiring Gur cattle, adding an additional layer of complexity for farmers. Unlike some other breeds, Gur cows are known for their sensitivity and may not respond well to harsh conditions or treatment. This requires farmers to ensure a nurturing and stress-free environment for these animals. These factors should be carefully weighed by farmers when deciding whether to choose Gur cattle for their farms. It's a decision that requires a comprehensive understanding of the breed and a commitment to meeting their specific needs. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of the Gur cattle. We've delved into their rich history, explored their unique characteristics, and weighed the pros and cons of choosing this breed. Remember, every breed has its strengths and weaknesses, and the Gur is no exception. It's up to each farmer to decide what's best for their specific circumstances. If you found this video informative and helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit. Don't forget to subscribe to the Spectrum of Wisdom channel for more insightful content. Stay curious, keep learning, and as always, let wisdom be your guide. Until next time.